So in this video, I'm going to show you real quickly how to replace a brake caliper on a 2004 Honda CRV or a similar Honda vehicle. Um, this is it, and uh, I've only got a couple things that I'm going to need here. I'm going to need some uh, brake parts cleaner. I'm going to need some brake fluid, uh, DOT3, and of course I've got my jacks up here. I like to do double jacks. Uh, that's just a little bit safer, and also put the wheel under the vehicle uh, just in case the vehicle were to fall. You want to make sure it doesn't fall on you. So this is going to be a quick uh, overview of how, how to do this. First thing you do, spray down all the brake parts with this uh, brake spray. That's going to get all the um, different things off the brake. You don't want to breathe the, the dust that comes off these brakes. Spray it down really good and let it dry. Before you start messing with the caliper, you want to unscrew the brake fluid uh, topper right there because when you press that caliper in, fluid's going to push back up into this and you don't you want it to actually have room to do that now to take the pressure off of this caliper because it's uh, seized on here that's one reason why i'm uh, trying to take it off it's been scrubbing i uh, need to get a big u-clamp uh, c-clamp and uh, i'll show you what i'm going to do with this i'm going to press this caliper in so that uh, the brakes are released so you can see how i've got this here around the back side and it is pressing on the actual back of the pad here I'm just going to twist this, twist this right here. What that's doing is it's uh, pushing the, the drum of the caliper in and basically creating some room. You don't have to do too much, but I'm going to give it a couple of nice turns there. Now you're going to use a 12 millimeter socket or a wrench. Take out these two bolts here, this one and the one at the bottom. After those bolts are out, you should be able to pull this back and take a look in there at the uh, little plunger. Set that back, you don't wanna to put too much pressure on this line, so set it on something that it can rest on. And now you're gonna remove these brake pads. Now we're just left with this uh, portion of the caliper. Go around the back side here, you can see there's two screws, or two bolts, I'm sorry. Um, right here, right there. Uh, use a 14 millimeter socket and uh, take those guys out of there. And I'm also remembering to save my 14 millimeter bolts here because they do not come with the the new uh, caliper so I'm going to install this part first uh, it's just going to come back in here just slide in there just like that and then I'm going to put those uh, 14 millimeter bolts back in just making sure these are nice and snug here when they are you want them to be tight but not not ring the bolt off now that the part is on, it comes with these little uh, metal pieces here. I'm going to throw these on there as well, and that will come into play a little later. Okay, so now we're going to deal with taking the line off the back of this thing. And I actually messed up because I should have loosened that bolt right there um, before I took it off of this uh, whole assembly. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to reattach this, put this bolt through here, uh, so that I can undo that and move forward but ideally hopefully you're watching this and then you're going to do this project ideally you would take that off or loosen the bolt a little bit earlier and you might get a little drippage you don't want to get it anywhere on the brake parts but uh, you want to make sure you have something under there like a piece of cardboard a piece of tin to catch that drippage now i'm going to prepare this part for uh, final assembly onto this um, this is where that i think i don't know what they call this maybe a u-bolt or something this is where uh, that, that uh, tubing and it ends in a bolt is going to go. So you pull that out, you see there's got threads down in there. And those threads are for the new bolt. Uh, this bolt has holes in it and it's hollow. Um, that's going to go down into uh, this in the top here. And you will kind of see here in just a second how that works. The, the hose is attached with a circular uh, knob kind of thing. So t when you're doing this, take a look at how it sits in there, uh, review, kind of see how it sits in here, and then just make it exactly how it was. Um, you're going to get a little bit of drippage and some fluid is going to come out. I've already got a little bit coming out here, so uh, put something under there that, to catch that. You don't want that going on the ground. And I was able to get this on. Uh, took a little bit of uh, fitting with it. Um, as you can see, there was there is the copper 
uh, washer on the bottom and the top of that circular bolt there. Now I'm going to put the brake pads back in and reattach this thing. If you can't remember how the brake pads uh, went in, um, flip it over on the back. You see that little disc there? Uh, that is an impression from that little drum, so uh, that can give you a little clue as to how this brake pad goes in. Uh, it goes in just like that. And like I mentioned before, these little silver things are setting down there, and it just makes that brake pad just slide in nicely. Uh, it kind of sets everything in there. Now we're going to put the caliper back on. Uh, being careful here not to make the brake pads move much and uh, putting that thing down. Now I'm going to put these uh, bolts back through now. When you put this piece back on, uh, you're going to want to put these bolts down nice and tight. Uh, of course, not too tight. You don't want to wring it off. And the thing you're going to want to do is just tighten up this back here just to make sure it's nice and snug um, and so there's no leaks. One thing I wanted to mention as well is that brake fluid is very corrosive uh, to paint. So if you get it on anything, uh, you want to uh, wipe it off immediately. Otherwise, it will eat through your paint. The next step is to seat the brakes. Before you press the brakes, you want to put a little more fluid into the brake fluid container here. Because remember, we just uh, uh, lost a little bit of fluid there. I'm just going to give it a little bit more here. Just a little bit because uh, we just don't want any air to get in the line. So just want to make sure. And we're going to go ahead and put this cap on too. You don't have to have the vehicle running for this. So just press down on the brake pad. Maybe a couple times until it feels nice and solid. Before we press the brake, there is some gap in between uh, the brake pad and the caliper here. There's no gap now and the plunger is distended so that uh, you can't see it from here, but um, now we're ready to ble bleed the lines. This is the bleeder valve right here. This is where you're going to need some assistance. You're going to need somebody to press in the brake as you uh, unscrew this. I'm going to show you how you do that and I'm going to show you how you press in the brake as well. We bleed the brakes to make sure there's no air in the hose. If there's air in the hose, your brakes will be spongy and uh, it won't be very good stopping power. So you need to bleed the brakes and you need to make sure you do it in a specific way. Uh, this is a number 10 wrench on this and I'm going to show you how to do this. So one person is going to be in the vehicle they're going to have their foot on the brake and press it just slightly. And while that other person is pressing on the brake, you're going to open up this valve just slightly. You're going to tell the person in the vehicle to continue pushing pressure until their foot goes all the way down to the ground. That person still holds their foot down on the pedal all the way to the ground, and then you close this off. Okay, assistant, put some pressure on the brake pedal. Press it down to the floor and release. All right, we're gonna do it again. All right, put some pressure on it. Press it down to the floor. Release. All right, one more time. Press the pedal, push it down to the floor, and release. Okay, we've bled the brake lines. Now, uh, something to remember about this too is that you want to save all the parts because you get, um, you have paid a core charge for this. I paid $75 core charge at my advanced auto. And uh, what happens is if I bring this back along with the receipt, I will get uh, that money back. So now we're going to put the wheel back on and uh, go give it a test and see how it does. Before you get going, pump your brakes a couple times just to pump it up, make sure fluid's flowing. So one big thing about auto maintenance is checking your work. Uh, the brake drum or the brake was dragging before and uh, it was causing everything to heat up and I just felt this. This is uh, nice and cold. I just drove into town and if it's dragging it would be hot. Um, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to monitor this over the next couple days. Uh, I'm going to get under here at, uh, when the car is parked and look and make sure that there's no fluid dripping from any of these uh, uh, things that we put on there and uh, just kind of take it easy. On the way into town, I you know, made sure it was safe and I did some pretty hard stops and uh, pumped the brakes a couple times and it felt great. So I think this is a good fix.
So that wasn't that bad of a repair. It probably took me about an hour to do the uh, entire thing. Uh, this is not a repair for beginners. However, this is something that uh, you can do if you're familiar with uh, working on cars. But brake system is very important to the car and to your life and to stopping. So uh, it's important that uh, you get this done correctly or you do it yourself and you know what you're doing. Anyway, that's probably cost me about 75, 80 bucks uh, when it's all said and done. And uh, somewhere else it might cost, you know, a couple hundred bucks. So I've saved some money and I did it myself and enjoyed doing it. Now I can relax with the Bev tie and uh, hang out for the rest of the evening. So cheers. Hope you do it yourself and I uh, hope it works for you. All right.